Hi, I'm Amitabh Bakshi and I'm happy to have today with us Rohit Vaish, who is one of the newest entrants in the faculty of the Department of Computer Science. Hi, Rohit. Welcome to IIT Delhi. Hi, Amitabh. Thanks. Glad to be here. Uh, it's a great, great uh, set of people to be around. Great. We're happy to have you. Uh, let me first ask you to set the context, Rohit. What is your research area? What are the kind? What's the kind of work you do? Right. So my research is at the intersection of uh, computer science and economics, broadly speaking. And the specific kind of problems that I work on can be summarized by three words: computational social choice. Okay. So social choice is basically a survey of economics that deals with making collective decisions for the society. Right. Imagine voting uh, applications where there's a bunch of voters who come together to elect a candidate or think of uh, how you match students with, uh, you know, seats in IITs, the JE uh, seat allocation. That's another example of a social choice problem or think of, say, dividing an inherited property among various stakeholders. Right. If you have to take people's preferences into account and make a collective decision for them. Now, all of these problems. Uh, you have to implement them in the real world, right? You need algorithms to implement uh, these problems, and this is where computer science comes in, right? So you not only want some desirable economic properties, but you also want fast ways to implement uh, these problems. And that's the interaction between uh, algorithms and incentives that I study. This is the area of computational social choice uh, more broadly. Oh, that's very interesting. You know, as uh, we've uh, come into this era where there are these uh, computing systems, network systems, which allocate resources, uh, collect information on scale, then questions of uh, fairness representation, uh, how to make uh, decisions uh, for resource allocation at scale have become extremely important. So this seems like an exciting area. Uh, would you say this is largely a theoretical area, but with a lot of potential impact in the real world? Uh, potential impact, yes, and also it has already influenced a, a number of domains. Uh, so let me just mention maybe a few examples. So uh, the 2012 Nobel Prize in Economics was given for contributions in matching area, which included, uh, say, matching organ donors with patients or uh, school kids with schools or doctors with hospitals, right? And all of these domains, they were... Uh, they were influenced heavily by this interaction between algorithms and economics, right? This, this interaction between uh, computational aspects and economic aspects, right? And so this, this, this uh, area has some like really high profile killer apps, I would say, and it is continuing to, to make an impact as we speak, really. That's great. That's great. We look forward to hear mo hearing more about this. Uh, tell us, uh, where did you go to college? Right. So I was uh, an undergrad at IIT Kanpur. Uh, and then uh, towards the end of my undergrad, I was sort of uh, really excited about robotics. So I decided to do a master's in that. Uh, for that, I went to ETH Zurich. And then uh, I was drawn into this uh, interplay of, uh, you know, uh, AI, ML and game theory. And that led me to do a PhD in uh, this kind of area. Uh, so I, I came back to India. Uh, I did my PhD at ISC Bangalore. Uh, and then after a, after a couple of uh, postdoc stints, one uh, at Rensselaer Polytechnic Institute and the other at TIFR Mumbai, uh, I joined IIT Delhi. So that's interesting that uh, you uh, went uh, to ETH for your master's and then decided to uh, move to India uh, to do your PhD. Do you think that's a, a trend? Is that, uh, I mean, uh, what made you make the decision to move back to India to do your PhD? Right. So I would say, I think I always wanted to do my research in India in the long term, and uh, I was lucky to find an opportunity. Uh, I was lucky to find someone who was sort of interested to work with me. Uh, so that was, I think, uh, really, uh, I think uh, in, in hindsight, that's a great decision. Um, and in general, I think uh, PhD opportunities in India, they are, uh, I mean, now, now we have many good places and some excellent departments such as IIT Delhi. Uh, so I, I, now I no longer think that, you know, going abroad is the more attractive option as it used to be. Uh, definitely being in India, like we have world class uh, professors and world class facilities. So I'll definitely encourage students to explore the options of doing their research in India. 
and uh, students would like to work with you undergraduates or uh, potential phd uh, students master students uh, or what kind of background are you looking for or what what are the kind of uh, what's the training that uh, they should have and what are the kind of uh, tools and techniques should they look forward to working with once they work with you right so uh, the the dominant flavor in my work is applying techniques from computer science and from ai to problems in economics so i don't assume any uh, background in economics for students although if they know that that's that's a huge plus but i do expect them to be really good really sound in their computer science background right so you should be really good in algorithms or complexity theory and things like that i see okay great great um, any word for our partners outside uh, iit like you know uh, policy makers uh, the government industry partners uh, since your work has broad impact and is going to interact with many uh, bigger systems, any word for those uh, partners? Right. So uh, I think this, in general, this uh, uh, idea of applying this computational toolbox to real world problems and, and sort of selfishly speaking to economic problems, it's a, sort of a beautiful area with really you know, lots of practical applications. And uh, IIT Delhi in particular is at the forefront of uh, you know, research in this area. Uh, you think of the School of Public Policy, you think of the Humanities Department, the Computer Science Department, and all the other, uh, all the other engineering and sciences department. I think uh, uh, there's a lot of potential for uh, dialogue and uh, collaboration between uh, faculty at IIT Delhi and the industry partners. And there's a lot of uh, scope for making you know, some tangible policy uh, impact in the real world. So I think we should really work together to sort of foster this collaboration in the future. Great. I'm sure that's going to happen, Rohit. That sounds all sounds very exciting. Thanks a lot for talking to me. And once again, welcome to IIT Delhi. Thank you. Thank you so much.